This is a three-minute message brought to you by Redemption Church, Delray Beach. Hey guys, this is Pastor Eric from Reach Jacks, and today I want to talk to you about revenge. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 22 says, Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and He will deliver you. In our society, it's very easy to be offended. Not only that, but it's very easy to then want to return that offense with an offense. You could say, to be defensive, you got to get offensive, right? So people, they're offended by somebody, and then they want to turn, they want to find out how can they now take revenge on that person. Don't you love how painfully practical the Bible is? Again, what does it say? It says, do not say, I will repay evil. Somebody does evil to you, that's a common thing. Someone will come to me as a pastor and say, hey, this person's offended me. This person's used me. This person's wronged me. What should I do? Well, the Bible says, do not say, I will repay evil. So if your mind is is going right now and you're thinking, how can I take revenge on that person? What can I do to make their life a living hell because that's what they've done to me? Well, the biblical answer is do not repay evil. What does it say instead? No, it gives us what to do. Wait for the Lord. That you're to wait on the Lord. You're to wait for the Lord. The Lord will take care of it. It goes on to say that He will deliver you. But when you wait for the Lord, when you wait on the Lord, you're not just passively sitting there. I like to think of it as a waiter is waiting on a table. That's how you wait for or how you wait on the Lord. You're to be serving. Serve those who haven't wronged you. Allow the bitterness to escape from your mind. Don't let it consume you every night as you're laying in bed wondering, what can I do to to go get that person? What can I do to make their life miserable? No, don't repay evil. Don't stoop down to that same level that they were at when they offended you. Rather, wait for the Lord. And by waiting for the Lord, as I already said, you can wait on the Lord. You can serve. Serve at your church. You can serve at your home. Serve at your school. But be somebody who thinks outside of themselves and allow the Lord to take care of that if you want to call it revenge. Trust in the Lord in all of your ways and He's going to take care of you. All right, God bless you.